If you're new to blockchain, I'm going to simplify it as much as I can. Like I said, I'll keep this pretty quick. But I, I look at the internet as, as really, if you simplified, it was the ability for us to transfer information real time without needing to wait on a, on a third party. I used to have to, you know, see what the, the news said the weather was going to be for the next weekend. Now, you guys can tell me if it's going to rain in Puerto Rico this weekend. We can, you can tell me if it's raining in Tokyo right now. Like all you need to do is pull up your phone, weather.com, whatever. It's pretty easy to do because the internet allows that free flow of information. The blockchain allows the free flow of value. If I want to wire, if Cedric creates a project and I want to wire funds and participate in it, not tonight. My bank's closed. My bank here in Puerto Rico is closed. My bank in Kansas is closed. There's no wires going out tonight. And if I try and wire in money, if I said, hey, I need to send Cedric Harris money. My banker is going to go, well, I need a routing number. I need an accountant. There has to be third parties involved on both sides, my bank and Cedric's bank. They're going to charge me. They might charge him an incoming wire fee. 